So Nathan and Ian just finished uh, day one of the Perth International Regatta. How was your day today, Nate? Yeah, we had a, a pretty good day. We sort of kept it simple, stayed out of trouble and managed to get through first. So um, we were sailing in small fleets today of about 15 boats or so because we've you know, split the group of 30 into two. But um, yeah, it was, it was a good day for us. And then three bullets in a day, not a bad way to sight your regatta? Yeah, obviously having three wins today was the perfect start. and. Um, it was, it was more sort of, we were going out there with the intention just to be consistent and um, not lose it today, but it was, uh, it was pretty consistent breeze and uh, it, was, it was a lot of a speed race and we seemed to be going quick through the water, so it turned out nicely. And Nate, it's the first time you guys have been back racing the 49 for a couple of months. How are you feeling after the first day of racing? Yeah, pretty good, you know, we haven't sailed since South of Gold, which was about uh, two months ago, so we've sort of done maybe four or five days training and, you know, we slotted back into it really nicely, so... You know, it's nice when you can do that because you know you don't have to keep training hard all the time to make sure you're on your game. You just got to keep on it every now and then. And Ian, how are you finding the conditions over here in Perth? Conditions in Perth are a bit tricky. Um, a lot of our starts are at nine o'clock in the morning, and it's sort of sort of around the time when the land breeze starts to die out and um, gets a bit light and tricky. Um, but in the afternoons, there's a the sea breeze and. It's hard to sail here in the sea breeze because it gets so windy and it's so shallow out there. If you capsize, you're likely to break a rig, so it's quite a tricky place for a 49er. Matt Mao just finished day one of the Perth International Regatta. How was your day on the water today, Matt? Uh, yeah, it was good. Um, we had a one and a two today, uh, which, was, which was nice, obviously, uh, you know, uh, to get those results of day one are pretty nice, considering most of the top uh, competitors are here. Um, but for us today it was just uh, you know obviously the first day of our Australian summer starting, so it's just getting back in and seeing where we're at, and obviously not doing too bad. Hey, Mel, you said it a couple of times uh, regardless this year that you know, the first few days of qualification a bit of a pain, and then you finally get into race against the good guys. Is it good to be racing against all the good crews from day one? It's definitely good to be in uh, Gold Fleet day one. Um, every point matters now, which is you know which is great. And uh, it's nice to start off in that fashion. Obviously, the Israelis had a very good day as well with a 2-1. So, uh, you know, when we're obviously equal. But um, it's going to be a long regatta and just have, have a bit of fun. And how are you finding the conditions over here in Perth? Oh, it's been wonderful. Um, compared to the East Coast, I believe they've got lots of rain over there. So it's beautiful, 30-odd degrees. And uh, the sea breeze today was reasonably solid. Uh, not as solid as the previous training days. but. Um, it was certainly uh, pretty good. It was probably uh, mid-teens and um, yeah, summer shining, waves are up and the wind was on, so it's great. And Matt, uh, last week you guys launched a new boat, My Life. Yep. How's it going so far? Uh, it's quite involved actually, which probably says a lot about the name. Uh, today we lost the gaskets for uh, the third time since we've launched it. Uh, but I mean, you know, as a new boat, a lot of people say, you know, it's just, it's just the preparation and the timing going to Athens probably didn't help us too much um, in that sense of just trying to prepare the equipment and, and tune it. And so yeah, we're, we're going to still be going probably through the end of this regatta and take us a little while as, as with anything new. So yeah, it's going, going well. We're very happy with the performance of the boat. Just a few little teething things we've got to sort out. And now finally, it's, you know, it's a home regatta effectively, but it really hasn't been the ideal preparation for you guys, has it? Not at all. It's uh, been quite difficult. And I've got a cold out of it all, but uh, we had to come over here a little bit earlier to uh, to prepare the new boat up because we got off to Athens um, for the world start of the year. So, yeah, putting that in the middle and a lot of flying for uh, not many days on the ground. Uh, I've ended up sick, but it's also, I suppose, compounded a little bit of our boat preparation uh, with it being brand new and have to put the little uh, mat and mal idiosyncrasies of the boat. So. Uh, but uh, I suppose it was a great honour to be there and to, to be in Athens. So, you know, you never know when that will happen again. So good, good to be involved in it. But I suppose we're paying a little bit now for that. And it was, was it a great experience to go across and be a part of that? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, Rolex put on an amazing award. It was very special. You know, I was tingling down the back of the spine to be there. And, and obviously it would have been great to win. But for Tommy to bring home the medal for Australia was awesome. I just wish he could have been there to see it all as well.